The relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Ugh. We've been doing a lot of good lately, and this just feels wrong. Sebastian's uncle said he didn't want to see us around here anymore. Said if we're up to any unforgivable stuff, he's going to report us to the headmaster. But it looks like Sebastian, Sebastian was able to... A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. Meet his sister. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Oh, man. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when sacrifices. I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacombs. So we've got to bring her inside? So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. A sacrifice? The hurdle may be convincing ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Oh, man. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she him. thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. So we're covered. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. Oh, we're so close. Okay. See you soon. We've got a plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but we've got to... I, I don't know what we're sacrificing. I'm a little worried about that. So here's the thing. Sebastian is not done with us yet. Got another mission here. Curious to see what he's up to. We are down in the very southern tip of the map. He's just always got something going on. I don't know what else to say. He... He's doing a lot. He's doing the most. And I hope he's doing the best. Nothing pleasant about this coast. <laughs> Good to see you too, bro. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. I'm being tested, man. Like I can't. That. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh. Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. He's been changing. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? So we, this is... We've got Let's kind of go two quests going with him. Before we spotted. This is not related to our last one with Anne. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. 
This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. This is the one where we're trying to piece together that map down in the, the secret room. So he's worried about the, you know, relic to be able to save his sister. He's also worried about this. We're trying to complete this because we think it could give us information on the... <laughs> Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. <laughs> you have to learn to share. Situation with the sister. The traffic is totalis. One, two. Dude, these guys are nasty. They're always checking out their swords and... Just up to some bad stuff. Three and four. These are the big drills they've been making. All of Randolph's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelio. Gonna grab all the stuff from around here. Let's keep on going up the mountain. Come on, Sebastian. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I really don't like where he's been going. So we've been talking about that. You know, as we keep inching our way towards the final segment. And I think we all kind of know what spell comes with that i i didn't realize that all of the care like everything's getting heavier you can you can see his anger starting to come out more like genuinely i think if it was me in real life i would probably call it off from this point forward what is this invisible wall like a protective charm like hermione put out but yeah you, you could i could see my friend changing he's becoming obsessed with it He's becoming quicker to anger. He's getting less or losing control of his emotions, gaining less. It's a weird way to put it, but things are happening yeah, internally. Close by. And they're not definitely not good things. Confringo. Just gonna see what we've got going on out here. Revelio. Thestral Cave, that's pretty cool. Already got quite a few in our Kill any of trespass. Bavarium. Let's go. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. <laughs> I can't wait until after doing that, we're going to be able to use Avada Kedavra and we're going to be able to straight up just murder everyone all at the same time. It's going to be great. Descendo. Watch out behind us, we're fine. Woo! Appreciate the help, Sebastian. Oop, there's one more here. I thought he was down. There it is. See, like, the little comments like that, like, dude, that's not necessary. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Let's keep going. Looks like we've got a tomb thingy over here. Can worry about that later. Just keep going up the path. Revelio. Dude, they have so much loot all over the place. All right. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything Rebellion. made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. <coughs> we must remain unseen. Gonna try to be at least a little bit quiet, although I think we're jumping up right in front of him. Yeah, it's not really gonna work. Just knock them both off the edge if we can. There it is. They not die down there. 
I see him down there. Okay. Keep going. If I can't reach him, he can't reach me. I'm good. <laughs> He's yelling back there. <laughs> I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. And I'll be most keen. You said what? Let me get your archer up there up top. Should give us some overwatch. I miss our transfigure spell. I'm gonna throw transfigure on here. Oh, he's already dead. As you wish. He's dead. This must be it. Sebastian, wait, wait. For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. We need to calm Mark it down, bro. Said, oh, your goblin friend? Yes, Stop it. the one that's been that's helping enough. us. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. You can't. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. I think this goblin... Oh, that's, that's the one over here. I was going to say, I think the one that we knocked down before is still chasing us somewhere. So up top is where we want to go. I did see there's a fast travel point over here. Might as well grab this. You two seem ready for adventure. Yep, we're trying to put in work. Appreciate the uh, well wishes. Tower tunnel. I'm hoping he can keep his emotions in check, but I, I it's very clear that... So far, so good. Things are going topsy-turvy. Charming. Revenue. How fitting. Well. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do here. Imperial. Hit him with an Imperio. I'm actually going to switch it up. Let's do, uh... Let's do all of our... Big boy, like, fire attacks. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Just to do something different. I feel like we've been cursing spiders, honestly, a lot in the last few episodes. Ooh, big mama. Let's see what you got. I do want to keep our transfigure spell on. Is transfigure a one? I think it might be a one hit. I'm going to put this here. It didn't work on the big girl. But yeah, if you turn somebody into a... A what's it called? The explosive. Oh. We just shrunk her and then stepped on her. If you turn somebody into an explosive barrel and then you throw them and they blow up, is that like a, is it a full kill? Or how does it work? To be honest, it's kind of fun to fight without curses. I think that's all gonna change when we get AK. That was a lot of spiders. Bombarda. Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. Looks like we got two routes we can take with this. Confringo. Two sets of spider webs? Here we go. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, 
I think three nudges at least. <laughs> See, he's even getting argumentative about the dumbest little things. I don't know. I don't. Th you know, I, I really. I was under the impression. Come to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Rebellion. There's got to be something back there. I was under the impression that Sebastian had a good heart. He was looking in the wrong places, and he just needed a little guidance. It's looking like it's going to turn out that he is power hungry, obsessed, and loses himself in the search. At least that's what I'm seeing so far. Okay, so like. If I turn you, he's not dead. He's he's very hurt. He was on fire, very hurt, but not dead. I don't like the ones that bury underground. It's very hard to see where they're popping up. You gotta watch the land bubbling underneath you. See that right there? Not my favorite. That was nasty. Got him down to one hit and then turned him. Revelio. I would imagine we have enough spider fangs to last a lifetime at this point of this game. A staircase leading here. Whatever for. I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Confringo! Little guys. Bombarda. Gotta get rid of those little guys. If you hit them before they explode, you don't even have to fight the little ones. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Oh, good lord, dude, please. With the slowly crawling down the the things, just not, not my vibe at all. Oh, my goodness. Homie just got sent to the stratosphere, put him on a SpaceX mission. Come on. All right. I gotta start using some of our things, otherwise we're gonna get ourselves in trouble. At least take them down to half and then use our big spells. Down. Use it on this. Thornback Matriarch. Let me change one of your little children into a thing and beat you up with it. This is so sadistic. Honestly, just as bad as using the curse. Unforgivable curses. Is turning somebody into Getting through the your child? Have been the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for rooms. Confringo. Yeah, there's for sure a bunch of rooms around here, huh? Let me just turn your offspring into a bomb and then throw them at you, so they explode. Like we've seen rune symbols like these before. Huge decorated table. That's exactly what I've been looking for. You shouldn't have. See the symbols. Revelio. So there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. Confringo. Again. Please don't ever give me a spider fang. I am good to go. So we got one there. There and there. Can't get out of here quick enough. I agree. Just gonna keep cruising. One thing I will compliment this game on: no snakes. I have not seen a snake yet. The spiders are bad. The snakes would be worse. Okay, we gotta test something here because I'm really curious. Can you Imperio a troll, or are they too strong? If I Imperio a troll, is he just straight up not gonna attack troll. us? Or start attacking, obviously, the other people. I'm gonna throw Imperio on here. Imperio. It works. Are you kidding me? 
And now he's just gonna go ham on the spiders. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. Now we can just start attacking him as much as we can, and we can keep hitting Imperio, and then he's not gonna hit us back. I mean, it's... I'm not gonna... It's honestly, it's, it's a little... In a one-on-one, -on -one, it's cheap. That just straight up... I, I feel bad about that. All right, he's back with us. Woo! Hit him with everything. Held it for a little bit too long. I want to... I want to get his R1 when he throws stuff at us. Get away from him. Come on. Just tap it and then throw it at him. There it is. And it stuns him. Hit him with everything we got. Getting some nice combos going. Stupefy. Not today. I know the trolls attack so well. Let's get away from him so he throws the rock at us. Stun him. One, two, three, four. Look at the combo we got going, baby. 89. Dodge, dodge. Parry, stupefy. Let's go. Get this thing up to 100. Oh, Trav. Nice teamwork. Wow. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. You know, maybe a little bro time is exactly what the doctor ordered for old Sebastian here. Old turn and evil Sebastian. If you want me to be honest. Revelio. This is creepy. I'm imagining we want to set that on fire. We're going to be fine. I saw a way up. If you want me to be honest, I do kind of feel like the, the curses are... Oh, that's not a way up. Oh, we can fix it. Let me put our Reparo on. I do kind of feel like it's it's a little cheap. I kind of feel like that's all we can do. I, I feel like it makes things a little bit easy. That was a piece of work. More than one. Maybe if we were playing on... I, so there's a couple difficulties with this game. I think we're on the medium or like the regular or whatever it is. Maybe if we were on hard, it would be more needed. But I, I do feel like when you can straight up Crucio somebody and then everyone's cursed and it, it just it, it gets a little easy and repetitive So I'm trying to mix it up such joy I felt helping my father after all these years to hear his voice again I cannot begin to describe how much I've missed it if we tried I Confess I was wholly stunned by the keepers reaction. I should have expected it How can they stand by and do nothing when they have the power to do so so much good? What is professor Rackham or who is professor Rackham to tell me what I can and cannot do with my ability? The audacity of all of them judging my work without any real understanding of all that I've accomplished. I do have some hope. The headmistress seemed somehow to understand what I was doing. When the time is right, I shall go to her. She may be able and willing to help. Until I know otherwise, I must continue my work alone for now. But I will find someone to help me. to stand on. Sebastian, please. I will find someone who, uh, someone else who understands the gift that we've been given and our obligation to use it. Obligation, I don't like that word. I will store what I learned safely away for the moment one day I'll be able to share it with another who is like me. Did you find something? I did. And you interrupted it multiple That's times. Um, Isadora was here. Interesting. It's almost kind of the same thing we're going through with Sebastian right now. Just got caught up in the powers. We did see in our most recent cutscene... Revelio. ...that um, the professor was not fond of it. So she's probably not happy about that. She thought that the professor was going to be the one to help her out and be on her side, which she wasn't. Well worth it. So I'm going to imagine that that'll lead to her acting out. Rebellion. 
have a Lots floor above us. Yeah. I feel more and more capable each day. My sense of purpose, knowing that what I am doing is precisely what I was meant to do, has never been clear. The number of souls I have been able to help grows by the day. So much pain. I have discovered that this magic itself somehow confirms that what I am doing is right. Each time I breathe in the haze, even a little, it's as though I become more capable. I am being rewarded for my courage, rewarded for using this magic the way it was meant to be used. I fear, however, that I must find a way to store what I cannot use in the moment. I do not yet understand its power and do not want to leave it to chance. I have an idea. It is not without risk, but I feel like the risk is worth it. Good news? No. This journal entry sounds worrisome. So she was feeding off of the pain of other people. I don't see how this could go wrong. Not at all. Absolutely not. And she was looking for a way to store excess of that. Where are we supposed to be going? Revelio. Third. Oh, up here. Gonna need Bombarda. We're always switching between Confringo and Bombarda. Bombarda. Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the trip to... Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. So I see Rebellion. two. One, two. Ah, uh, there's a third one over here. Okay. Gonna use Bombarda. I really don't like the music in here, man. One, two, and three. Could this be another area? Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Rebellion. This is where the triptych's gonna be. How could I have been so terribly wrong? The headmistress won't help me. I try to make her understand. She, like the others, is blind to the possibilities of what I can do. I have come to learn that I can rely on no one. But I am more powerful witch than I have ever been, and I know that it's due to the work that I'm doing. I shall not allow my magic to lie dormant, as the keepers do. How I despise that ridiculous name. If keeping power all to themselves is something to be lauded. I confess I have begun to wonder if I, I will ever find another in my lifetime with whom I share this work. If I do not, that I shall find solace in the knowledge that I have left them a trail to follow, a path from which they can learn. Perhaps they can do what I cannot, heal the world. So she's got good intentions. The memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. That goes back to our underground thing. She's got good intentions. She just got lost in the sauce. This has got to be it. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Hmm. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Oh. I'm excited to go complete it. Let's do it. I wonder if we're going to be able to see some of her memories. I wonder if... It's just interesting because we've never heard the name Isadora before. Like in any other lore and in any of the books or movies or anything. At least from what I know. Journey this triptych took us on. I feel like she can't have gone this is it. that evil. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Another pensive. Is this her memory? This is what we've been chasing.
This feels like a bad idea. I wonder. What is it? Let's find out. Just stick your face in this giant bowl for me. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Oh, I'm nervous. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. I would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. And this is where it begins. Why did you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. I like Perhaps Brackwork. Not. Someone will be. She took away the pain. Oh no. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. I didn't even think Something about that. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. Now he but thinks it's up to us. I didn't know to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. They're not going to agree to that, bro. It's it's you're getting your hopes up for no reason. It's not going to happen. I love you, but it's not going to happen.
Why did the keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? And here we go. I think this is it. We've got a new owl from Ominous. Anne's worried. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Ominous. We've seen him going off the deep end. We've seen him changing. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? Oh, I'm man. glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. I mean, I... I can't control him. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Just want to keep going down. I mean, we've Why already Sebastian when you and Am found checked him. this whole place. Just ahead, in the great room. Confringo, incendio. Woo! Okay. Confringo. This is a a lot of Inferi. Got to get them all on fire so we can actually do damage to them. I, I mean, might have to use some of our special. Confringo, incendio. There we go. Pretty sure we only have two fire spells. Incendio, Confringo. Incendio and Confringo. So it, I mean, this this is no joke. Just get him with the fire, and then maybe focus one at a time. Incendio. There it is. Confringo. There we go. I do not like this at all. We have new loot in here? No, there's no way. I was gonna say, yeah, because we've already been through here. There's not gonna be anything. Okay. Do we know which way we wanna go? I kinda forget. It's not this way, that's spiders. Yep, no sir. I'm gonna go this way. Stench of the dead is a good potion. Recipe. There weren't this many in theory before. And there's no sign of Sebastian. If we, uh, I was gonna say, if we stay up top, it might be kind of a good idea. There it is. So let's get all these guys on fire, and then we can use these two. Beautiful. Just hitting them over the head with pots. I realize you're blind, bro, but could we, like, actually attack some of these guys? Down. A few more here. Confringo. Love it when you can back them into the environment like that. That's great. Confringo. One more over here. Bombarda. Confringo. There we go. Hold on a moment. I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. We're done. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were in theory, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them, as Anne and I frantically barricaded the inferior to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. Oh no. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. And you're gonna leave me here alone with him? Be careful. As he's creating an undead army? 
I have a feeling he's lost it. Like, fully lost it. How many inferior are there? Inside this the is so bad. I think we go straight down, right? I'm... I'm nervous for him. I'm scared for our friend here. I thought we were just going to casually learn some dark... Oh, there he is. We're going to need some bones. I thought we were going to learn some dark spells together and maybe find a, you know, cure for his sister, but it appears things just got a, a whole lot darker. So if we put this... There's Sebastian. Oh my... So like, Isn't this incredible? Why does he need these? This isn't gonna save your sister. Sebastian, I told you. The relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. His uncle. What have the two of you done? Accio relic. You'll pay for this. We go what? We have to fight his uncle? Okay, this I'm gonna use transfigure. There it is. Just keep throwing everything at him. Oh god. And we've got to fight these guys at the same time. Are you serious? I'm gonna need a faster yellow spell out of this. Uh, we're gonna go Glacius. There it is. Probably wanna focus. The Inferi first, just so we don't have to deal with them later. He's down. Let me use some of our special magic here. How did he get over there? Dude, he's, he's strong. That's the first part down. Let's go. Whoop. Yo, God. There is so much happening right now. We've got the Inferior to worry about. We've got him to worry about. I don't know if the Inferior are just going to continue spawning over and over and over again. So maybe we do just want to focus him. Sir, you do realize that we are all fighting against the Inferior, right? And you're attacking children as there are fire zombies all over us. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab this because it does a lot of damage instead of our... We can't get rid of Incendio though, because we need it for the Inferi. There we go. He keeps apparating on us, dude. He's the toughest, the toughest wizard we've faced for sure. I'm hoping Sebastian can. Okay, we are on fire. I'm hoping Sebastian can cut a. Focus the Inferi. There is just so much going on. Come on. Now you've gone too far. Get him down to the He's still here. Freeze him. Get him down. Stop, Mr. Salo! Yeah! I'm hitting him with everything we got. Honestly, we prob we probably could use Crucio in this moment. Crucio. Cause that, is that gonna get the Inferi too? That does get the Inferi, okay. Perfect. Well, he's got purple now. He keeps switching up all of his abilities. Should've, should've thought to use Crucio a lot earlier. 
That's how you do it. He's done. Just got him spinning in the air. She cannot be healed, Sebastian. You must stop. I won't let her suffer. The Vanakadabra! Have you done? I'm I must get out of here. Speechless. I did not expect I him to kill his leave. uncle. Oh my god, I, I could I could be sick. So now... Sebastian, wait! Not only did he not save his sister, but he killed his uncle and then lost her too. Completely destroyed his family. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... I mean, we've made it this far. He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew you'd understand. I did do the right thing. You did. I would have done the same, if I knew how. I could teach you. No time like the present. The killing curse won't casual. be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Hold your wand steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. Avada Kedavra and the wand motion is a lightning bolt. Just like Harry's scar. I've got chills. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft. All right. I feel so bad for him. That is something you can't come back from. Even if he's a bad uncle, you can't kill a family member like that. Oh, all right. Well, we've got a Vada Kedavra. There's only one thing I want to do. There is in your talents, dark arts at the top here. Killing an enemy with the Vada Kedavra kills all cursed 
enemies. Now where this gets really effective is we have Crucio Mastery. Striking an enemy cursed by Crucio releases a projectile that curses a nearby enemy. And then we also have Imperio Mastery. An enemy under your control with Imperio curses other targets with each successful strike. So these two make it so that pretty much everyone in the battle is going to be cursed. And then now that we have this, we can basically team wipe instantly. So let's just... Uh, Give this a little test on some poor unsuspecting goblins. We're gonna run Imperio. We're gonna run Crucio. I'm trying to get pretty much everyone around us cursed, and now. Your poaching days are over. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Say it with your chest. What a good opera. Of course, taking out multiple enemies is great, but uh, there's something else I had to try. Rest easy, my large friend. <laughs> this is amazing. It's never felt so good to be bad. Sebastian wants us to meet him back in the Undercroft. So to the Undercroft we go. I, I, I still can't. I just can't believe he killed his uncle. We really got ourselves He's into dead. it here, huh? She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. I mean, I'll talk Thank to him. Thank you. You're a good friend. Truly. You've lost everything, bro. I, I hate to tell you that. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh my goodness. We have to choose? Oh man, I don't know what to choose. Do we... If we turn him in, I feel like we should turn him in. But I'm just as bad. But I haven't used it on good people. We're turning him in. We don't have a choice. Sorry, You're Sebastian. Right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Leave it to me. I'll tell the headmaster. Farewell for now. I shall be in touch. Oh my god. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. I feel so dirty. We made the right decision. We don't always make the right decision, though. There's been a lot of wrong ones. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I can't believe I just did that. I, I feel like... Here, dude. Let me help you out. Teach me all the bad curses. All right. Nice. See ya. Off to Azkaban you go. I'll see you guys in the next episode.